Did you know that America purchases about 50 billion plastic water bottles per year? That averages to about 13 water bottles per month per person living in the US. This means that every second, 1500 plastic water bottles are consumed. Thinking about this information, I spent almost two years saving up plastic water bottles to make a project in hopes of helping people realize the severity of plastic pollution. Thus, I'm going to build a sailboat out of plastic water bottles, specifically a trimaran. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to use the Aquafina and the Sunny bottles and any other bottle except Gatorade to build the center flotation area of the trimaran. Then I'll use the smaller Gatorade bottles to build the side flotation uh, parts, I guess. So there will be one on this side and then one on the other side. So it'll look like a trimaran, but that's what I'm thinking so far. Of course, I still have a ton of other water bottles to use. So we'll see how this turns out, but I'll start gluing these together. And then I have some more materials outside to show you guys. To connect all the water bottles together, I'm just using some waterproof silicone and this worked for the the last water bottle boat build that I did and it lasted about a year until we threw away the project so yeah I, I like using this stuff and then for the mast I'm just using some PVC pipe and some wooden dowels my other materials are over here and they're just some uh, one by fours to make a sturdy frame so I'll start gluing up the water bottles for the gluing process I'm attaching the water bottles in rows of 10 and 8 I'm making 8 rows of 10 water bottles and 2 rows of 8 water bottles I'm doing this so the boat will have a slight curve at the bow and stern. Now that these guys are all glued up, I'm going to take this clear packing tape and just wrap them up just to further strengthen them. And then I will start building up layers, which will start making the actual boat. So now that the main flotation little area is finished, I'm gonna start working on these side pontoons made out of the Gatorade bottles. And don't worry, there will be multiple layers. I just have to add a wood layer in between for support. But right now I'll get started on the side pontoons and then we can do the supports. Later on in the video, I am gonna be talking about ocean pollution, specifically plastic pollution and why I'm building this project. So now that this pontoon is done, I'm gonna use those one by fours over there to create the wooden supports and then I can place them in, glue them in, tape them in, and then add more water bottles on top and I can continue the building process. And then I'm gonna build the other pontoon and connect everything and then start with the mast and sail build. I'm also gonna be coating the wood with this polyurethane to try to waterproof it. This is not a permanent solution, it's just temporarily and if it starts molding, then I'll just replace it all. Anyone who is watching this video and wants to make their own, I would suggest coating the wood in epoxy resin to fully waterproof it. Although epoxy resin is quite expensive, another alternative would be to use PVC pipe. Let me know down in the comments below if I should do a similar build but with PVC piping. Okay, so now I got all the framing done for the pontoons and the center flotation thingy. Now I am running out of daylight and I'm really stressing about time because I gotta finish this tomorrow. I'm gonna quickly coat everything with this polyester urethane and then I can add more bottles and secure it to the bottles. So I'll waterproof these guys and then add more bottles and then I'll build the sail. If you do go the polyurethane route, one coat was enough for me, but you may want to add two. Alright, so now that these guys are fully coated with polyurethane, it's time to start up the sail and the mast. And I'm simply going to use some PVC pipe and dowel and a tarp which is in the kayak over there. But since I don't have much room over here, I'm going to be doing it behind my larger boat over there. So, let's get started. Here's the plan for the mast. I'm just going to be using PVC pipe for the mast and boom. For the mast, I'm going to shove down some 3 fourths inch uh, wooden dowels into the PVC pipe just to strengthen it a little bit more. And when that's all constructed, I'm going to use duct tape to make some hinges for the sail and for the boom attachment onto the mast or like the gooseneck whatever you want to call that piece and then yeah that the mast should be done shouldn't take that long and then we can get back to attaching those guys to the water bottles i also decided to add some waterproof silicone into the pvc pipe just to secure the wooden dowels 
Okay, so now that I cut out my section of the tarp to turn into my sail, I'm now gonna trim the square into a shape that I like, and then I'm just gonna attach it to the boom and the mast. So here is the shape that my sail is gonna be, and I know it looks really ugly, and it, yeah, it just doesn't look good in general. Now that the sail is done, I'm gonna use some duct tape and create some hinges so I can connect the sail to the boom and the mast. And then I'm gonna duct tape this piece of wood up here just to give the sail a little bit more support so this end isn't flopping all over. Going back to what I said earlier, I'm building this boat to bring awareness of ocean and plastic pollution. If you remember from the beginning of this video, I showed you guys all the water bottles that I've collected. In this photo, there are about 500 water bottles. This may seem like a lot, and it is, but this accounts for 0.0063% of all plastic water bottles in our oceans. If you do some research, you'll find that there are approximately 8 million plastic water bottles floating in our oceans right now. That's the equivalent of a garbage truck emptying plastic into the ocean every single minute. This video isn't sponsored at all, but if you guys want to, I've linked Team C's in the description if you want to donate. Moving on, I also wanted to build this to challenge myself and see if I could actually do it. If you're a loyal subscriber, you may remember that I built one in the past, but it was much smaller. I've wanted to build a bigger and better one since then, and now I'm finally attempting it. So to finish off the water bottle section of the boat, I'm just gonna heavily wrap them in some heavy duty packing tape. Now, if you're like me and you're building this project or you're doing something similar, uh, packing tape worked pretty well for me in the past and it was able to hold up for about a year on my old water bottle boat. But if you really want this to last for a long time, I would suggest using duct tape. Editing this footage, I really wish that I would have added a lot more tape. Also, later on in the video, when I test the boat, my friend Sean helps me do some filming, so I just want to thank him in advance. Alright, so she fits pretty well, but you can definitely tell that she's bending to the back and the boom isn't secured at all. But in the morning, when I have a little bit more time, I'm going to add some rope to straighten her out and just to further secure her. Now, to finish off the build, I'm just going to figure out the wooden supports that go across here that connect the pontoons to the main flotation area, and I'll quickly make the rudder. For the wooden supports, I just connected them to everything else simply with some bolts and nuts. This way, it was much easier for me to disassemble and transport the boat. So here is the rudder. It's pretty simple. I'm just using some household hinges to allow it to turn. Now I'm just going to attach this to the boat and then I can drill some holes in the boom and at the top of the mast to finish her off and then we can go test her. Alright, so we got the water bottle kayak in the car and I also got my kayak on the roof and we're going to go test her out. So let's go. Alright, so we got the water bottle kayak down here as well as the other kayak and some fishing gear. Now we're just going to take her down to the dock and we're going to float test her and see how she does. Holds you. The other one held you. This one has to hold you. It does the job. <laughs> I am really sorry about this, but these are the only two clips of me actually using the water bottle sailboat. My GoPro wasn't working at the time. The water bottles are coming off. Yeah, sure. You can see to the left of the boat that the mast completely fell off. I'll give you guys a more detailed description as to what happened in a little bit. Here is the aftermath of everything. The boat was able to sail until the mast and rudder completely fell apart. So I feel a little bad that I didn't use my GoPro and film anything while the water bottle subboat was actually working and sailing properly. So with all this just scattered around, I'm gonna do something for you guys. Oh. 
So I'm heading back down to the marina and I'm gonna show you guys where Sean and I launched the boat and what happened. I brought the one wheel because I didn't want to pay for parking. Also, it's just pretty fun to ride around and check this out. We found a car show is down here, so we're gonna check that out as well. All right, so that was pretty cool, but let's head down to that little dock where we launched the boat. All right, so sorry, it is a little windy, but I'm gonna describe to you guys what happened when we took the water bottle boat out. So we launched right here from this little dock, and since the current is going this way, my friend Sean in the kayak had to tow me out around this little jetty. Once I was around here, the sail started to work pretty well, and I was able to sail all the way over to that other jetty over there, but then that's where things went downhill. Since it's a little hard to see over there, I'm gonna ride the one wheel onto the pier. I'll tell you guys what happened from there. All right, so after I got around this jetty right here, this is where I really got screwed and the current started taking me towards the pier. And at this point, the mast and the rudder broke off, so my friend Sean had to tell me in the kayak, but there was so much drag, we weren't going anywhere, and we were both just drifting towards the pier. So Sean ended up bailing and swimming to the pier, and I had to tow the kayak, which took me like half an hour all the way back to the main dock. So that's what happened. So it was a fun learning experience, and I now know what I have to do in the future if I ever do another project like this, which I'm hoping to. So with that said, I am a little sad to say that I recycled half of the boat just because it was unusable and falling apart. I was able to save the outer pontoons, which were made out of the Gatorade bottles. So I will try to build another boat in the future with these bottles. But now I hope you guys know the serious problem of ocean pollution and plastic pollution. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.